Let's see. Hey everyone, Michelle here. Let's see. Hey KDE52. Michelle Gomez here. Thanks for everyone joining. I am at the Royal Oaks Country Club. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful out here. I'm trying to get some views of the greenery and I'm um, just enjoying mm -hmm. the scene right now. I had a chance to speak. Um, just did a presentation on networking. I talked about being at being the right person at the right place at the right time. I'm trying to get the scenery here. So so everyone thanks for joining in. If you like what I'm saying, uh, feel free to just heart it up. I really appreciate it. I need to start doing more periscopes. Okay. So being here, um, right person, right place, right time. So I just got done doing a speaking engagement at the Networkers Luncheon, networkersluncheon.com. You can visit their website. If you're in Houston, Texas, I'm gonna encourage you to come out. And on Monday, I got a phone call. This is the power of networking, right? Monday, I got a phone call for a good from a good colleague. And she called me. She was like, Michelle, I'm supposed to do the speaking engagement on Wednesday. But I can't do it. I'm not ready. And um, can you fill in for me? I was like, okay, cool. I already had things planned. I have a podcast interview I'm getting ready for um, later by Danielle Holman. Y'all look, look her up. Great podcast. But I'll go ahead and squeeze that in. It's not too far from my place. And that's the power of networking, right? You want to position yourself as an expert in a certain industry. That way when people think of you as a speaker, as a networker, I'm the first person on their mind. Okay. And today I spoke about being the right person at the right place at the right time. I'm going to leave you with three tips. You want to be a person of value. You want to be a person of value. What do people know you as? What do you offer? What is your expertise? What do you specialize in? Um, and lots of times we go to these network events and we want to close deals. We want to target client leads and have clients. And if they're not your client, you don't convert. You don't have nothing to do with them at the end of the day. But you, what you want to keep in mind is how can I nurture this relationship? That way they become a client later on. Another thing happened this week. A gentleman that I literally had a consultation with two years ago, two years ago, two years ago this month, contacted me this week and was like, Michelle, I need you. I need marketing. And I specifically told him, I'm ready to work. Always wanted to work with you, but we can't wait another two years. He's like, no, Michelle, I'm ready. Now's the time. But keep in mind... For the past two years, both of us have been nurturing that relationship. If he was on Facebook, I would share his information. I would forward his newsletters. It wasn't that he can't afford me and I'm done with him. I was still showing value. I was still putting myself, hey, how are you doing? Just checking in. In two years now, we're able to close the deal. So be a person of value. The second thing is just show up. Just show up. I could have easily declined this event today. I could have easily declined. Ooh, excuse me. Could have easily declined this event today, um, just because of my schedule. But I was like, no, I have to speak. I love speaking. Showed up. I've, I'm leaving here with two meetings, two meetings. Hopefully, two clients. Right. So once again, I believe you never know who you're going to meet and what it's going to lead to. Hey, Yvonne, thanks for coming in. Um, so just show up. And then the third thing is, you got to take action. You have to ask for the ask. You have to ask for the meeting, ask for the sell, ask for the close, ask for the referral. Lots of times we don't do that, right? Once again, we feel like just because this person, we're not doing business with this person, we're not in a position to ask them for the sell because, or excuse me, ask for the referral because what are they going to say? What, what kind of recommendation? But I guarantee you someone in their industry I guarantee you someone in their industry may need the same service, the same business or product that you offer. So don't hesitate to ask for the referral if you can't get the sell. So I just want to encourage you today, whatever you do, make sure you're a person of value. Make sure you show up. Make sure you take action. And 
I'm just so excited. I'm just so grateful for opportunities. And there's the best is yet to come. So I want to encourage you this day. And remember, a personal connection leads to an influential network. If you have a chance, please visit my website, michellegomay.com. Also, my company is line25consulting.com. That is L-I-N-E 25consulting.com. I have the book, Network, Navigate, and Nurture, the podcast, Networking with Michelle. I'm all about networking, strategic collaborations. How can we push each other? That way we move forward together. So if you need help with networking, feel free to contact me. I'll be glad to coach you through the process um, or just continue to follow me on Periscope. I enjoy it. I'm about to get back to my group, but um, what's today? Today's Wednesday, so just make the rest of the week count. Make sure you're the right person and remain that person of value. Thank you.